Moving over towards here, we just got the restroom that, geez. We wanna go in there right now. Boy, man. <laughs> I do what I gotta do. <laughs> Today, oh man. So a few days ago, um, I made a video and I told you guys that we found a shop, but we hadn't actually qualified for it yet. We hadn't gotten in, we hadn't gotten the keys, anything like that. But today, we're officially gonna show you guys that shop. We got that shop and we're gonna show you guys the all new Scooter Zone V2 for the first time ever. So we're gonna be doing that here in just a second. But before we do that, I gotta introduce you guys to uh, our boy Matt right here. Oh, look at you, just standing over here in the oh, wind and up, stuff. Boy. What up, what up? Ladies and gentlemen, Matt Gould. I, I don't know, have you, have you been on the vlog before, ever? Like, maybe once? Dude, like, probably like four years ago. Three, oh, four shoot. years ago, dude. It's been a long time. That's a long time, but so you guys are gonna see Matt in the videos a lot now because, well, Matt is the guy that's gonna be running the show over here at Scooter Zone. So if you guys ever come over to the shop, if you come and check out parts, if you wanna get a scoot or whatever, this is the guy you're gonna be seeing, talking to, whatever, but, Without any further ado, let's show you guys the all new Scooter Zone V2 building. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. All right, you guys, so this is Scooter Zone. This is the brand new shop. We ended up getting something that was a lot bigger than what we were looking at. So you guys might have seen that in uh, one of my previous videos. If you didn't see that video, click right there. It'll show you some of the other buildings that I was looking at. But this is a lot bigger than what we were looking at at that point. Now, the reason we got a bigger shop is because I got a little bit worried with the smaller ones that we were gonna outgrow it extremely fast. And I don't wanna outgrow the shop. And plus, there wasn't really any room to really play or do anything or like I said in that video have my own office and and people to actually move around and things like that so I thought about it a lot I talked to a ton of people about this decision and this is the new scooter zone we'll be here for a few years so get used to it but I want to show you guys around this shop just looks so freaking cool when I saw it it was way out of the price range but it looks good it's good enough for me that's good, that's good enough right yeah, it's good. It's it's good enough for us. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of, well, crap everywhere right now. And that is because we're moving. We're moving in, so everything is not super clean right now, but everything is gonna have a spot here very, very soon. Uh, but I wanna give you guys the quick tour as to what exactly it is we're gonna be doing. So obviously this is the front door that you'll be walking into when you see the shop. There is no, there is no front door in the actual showroom, which we will get to in a second. But this is gonna be your entryway. We'll have like a really cool Scooter Zone neon sign right here. Maybe an, uh, one of my uh, logos right up here, uh, like the RW logo. We're gonna have a couple other neon signs that just make this place look really appealing when you guys walk in. And another thing that we're gonna have and another thing that we're gonna offer here at Scooter Zone is scooter lessons. I've had tons of parents ask me personally, do you do scooter lessons? Do you know, any, do you know anybody that does scooter lessons? I've done a bunch of camps and things like that. I've had a lot of kids that I've actually taught in the past but I've never actually had like a set schedule when it came to scooter lessons, but that is officially gonna change. We're gonna have a few different people that are gonna be offering lessons on a massive half pipe that we're gonna go have right here. It'll pretty much start where this little um, set of pliers is and it's gonna go almost all the way to that glass over there. It's gonna be about a 30 foot wide mini ramp, not a vert ramp, just a mini ramp. But as you walk in, you'll see that and uh, you'll kind of cruise through it. So for those of you guys that wanna come here and get a scooter, this is the room that you're gonna like. So like I said, we have a bunch of scooters here right now. A lot of these are like some old decks, some new decks. We got your boys, AOS V5 from Envy Scooters right here. This is my signature deck that I've been riding for a long time. They come in 4.75 as well as a 5.1. There's a bunch of different colors within the AOS V5, but my personal one is blue. So if you're looking for a deck that you wanna ride and you would um, hopefully enjoy, check out the V5s. Here is the showroom. This doesn't even look 
like a scooter showroom whatsoever. We've got a couple things set up thus far. We're probably gonna get rid of these colored um, display cases because I personally don't like that color and it doesn't, I don't think it like really flows that well in here. It just looks like, like a cardboard look. I mean, it kind of matches those beams, but I don't like it. So these will be black eventually, but we're already setting up some of the wheels and things like that. Um, just, just getting display cases ready just so we know where exactly everything's gonna go. We don't know if that's finalized or anything like that, but just setting it up, just playing around right now. But we got a bunch of complete scooters right here. We've got the Colts and the Prodigies and a couple other scoots right here that we'll have lined up pretty much along this entire wall. We'll have some bars with racks right here. We'll have Scooter Zone as well as my merch on this wall. So for those of you guys that have been asking for a place to go and actually get merch personally, or if you wanted to, to check out the gloves or anything like that, you can officially get that stuff here at Scooter Zone. Everything that we'll be able to offer on my website right now will be here in the shop. So. That's kind of cool for you guys. We've also got this little spot where we'll probably have decks. We've got a ton of storage in this shop, not only here in the showroom, but as well as a lot of the other spots of the store. Um, there's a ton of storage, so we like that. We've got another wall right here, which will have some something else, some kind of merch or something. We got another wall right here where we'll have bars or, or other scooter parts. This wall is gonna be really cool. So every pro that comes here to Scooter Zone can sign this wall. I've always thought that was really, really cool when people have like autograph walls in their stores and I've always wanted one like in my house or something. This is pretty much my house now. So that's what we're gonna have in this spot right here. We're gonna have a, a couple different things up here. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do on this wall, like maybe graffiti or, or, or a TV or something that'll be playing scooter edits. Um, vlogs or whatever like that kind of stuff right here on the TV we got to definitely we definitely have to have like videos playing because I've never understood that like why don't why aren't there videos playing in this shop I, I've, I don't know I just think it's really cool when people do it I love the brick stuff that we have in here all this brick inlay looks so freaking good and it is all real brick it's not like some weird drywall or wallpaper or anything like that it's real brick all these like little fixtures like all this kind of stuff it just looks really cool like I've, I've, I like a lot of this stuff. Oh, there's a door right here that nobody can come in and out. What? There's a door right here that nobody can come in or out of other than whoever's working here. Just, just so we're all clear on that. This is like a little storage room right here. I, I don't know what we're gonna put in here. Maybe like some parts or I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out later. Walking over this way. So all of this section over here. So let me, let me back up a little bit. We just got the racks over here at Scooter Zone. All of these racks are gonna be built up and finished by today. And there'll be these three right here. We'll have two right here and then two over there. And that's obviously all for online fulfillment. So for all of you guys that are wondering, can I buy my scooters from Scooter Zone online? You absolutely can. So everything that you guys buy from either Scooter Zone or RaymondWarner.com, whether it's a shirt or a complete scooter from Scooter Zone, will be shipped out of this store. So if you guys want a scooter from here, check us out. Oh, the website's not up yet, but it will be very, very soon. Probably like mid this month, because we definitely want to have the website open and available for purchasing prior to actually having a grand opening here. But the grand opening in the store for you guys to actually come and see the store. If you guys want to walk in here, check out the showroom, see what we have to offer, see Matt, see me, whatever. That's probably going to be somewhere like around November 1st. So November 1st, mark your calendars. It is a Sunday. It's the day after Halloween. You guys will be able to cruise in, check out the shop and uh, enjoy yourselves. So moving on this way again, I know it, it looks like a mess right now, but this is all stuff that came from the last scooter zone and we moved it all from the storage into here pretty much as soon as we could. So we apologize for what looks like a mess, but we promise it's kind of organized. So moving over here, we have the workshop. So this is an area where not you guys don't really ever need to be. This is where all of uh, scooters are gonna be repaired or new parts are gonna be installed or decks are gonna be cut. Whatever the case may be will all happen in here. This is like kind of cool because every time that I've ever been to a scooter shop, whenever we wash our hands like in, in the bathroom, it just makes the sink black. So it's kind of gnarly when customers go in there and they see the sink just like kind of nasty but there's already a sink in here. So that was, that's kind of cool. So the sink in the bathroom will never be like discolored or anything like that. So I, we like that a lot. This will stay, but we're gonna build a, a little workbench right here. We already kind of um, taped it out. We're gonna also build one right here for the uh, drill press, as well as the chop saw and all the other kind of power tools that we'll need to utilize. Those will be right here. So um, I'm actually really, really excited on this entire workshop. And the coolest thing about it 
it can be private. If we want it to be closed up, locked up, whatever, we can do that. So I definitely like that about this. Like that's actually a really cool feature. Moving over towards here, we just got the restroom that, geez. We want to go in there right now. Boy, man. <laughs> <laughs> Another really, really cool thing about this store that I'm actually extremely excited about is there's an upstairs. So check this out. We've got the upstairs and as you go up, you got this really cool like um, uh, galvanized pipe uh, hand railing. You're passing up more of that brick. So let's cruise all the way up here. So now up here again, this is an area where you guys don't really have any reason to go unless you're invited up or something like that. But this turn up the lights a little bit. This is where all of the merch is going to be. So all of my merch as well as Scooter Zone's merch um, or any, any of those kinds of orders that um, are, come through online will all be fulfilled up here. Again, look at all this storage that we have. All this stuff is gonna be so, so cool to use because it takes away the need for a bunch of different racks and things like that. Not that that's a bad thing. Like I don't, I don't mind having a bunch of racks everywhere, but this definitely looks a lot cleaner. Like I said, I definitely need an office in this place and there isn't an office up here, but there's plenty of room for a desk. So there's going to be my desk and things like that right there and other things that we're going to utilize to print out orders and whatnot. There's a TV up here. This has all of the cameras and whatnot set up onto this. So if we need to spy on anyone, we can. We got a couple little cameras right here kind of peeking on anyone that's trying to creep into my shop. From the top, this place looks so crazy right now. These, these racks are going up. We literally got these racks like today and we're trying to build them all up and get them all set up so that we can uh, kind of start ordering all of our inventory from Envy and all these other scooter companies to set up in there. But look at those, the orange just looks crazy. Once we get everything set up, it'll look a lot more appealing in here. And right now it just looks like a bunch of gray which I honestly don't mind because once we get everything else going in here, we'll be good. Oh, also here's that entire area where this mini ramp will be pretty much from, you can almost see, oh, I can see the pliers down there. So there's, you can see the pliers. They're right about there. So it'll go from there all the way to probably about this box right here. So it's going to be an extremely wide mini ramp. We're going to offer scooter lessons and whatnot on those ramps and I'm extremely excited to be able to do that and just like to help some of you guys that want to learn how to scooter and want to learn how to drop in and just further your scootering skills to that next level we'll be offering that here at Scooter Zone so um, if you've been looking for that for a long time if mom and dad is watching and that's something you want to surprise your son or daughter with bring them on over and uh, we'll get you guys set up but that's that's probably not going to start for a little bit but again you guys will be uh, kept up to date on all that stuff as time goes on. What's this dude getting into over here? I know he's digging through all kinds of stuff. Is that a minute megaphone? Matt's down there having a freaking ball. He's finding all kinds of super old parts that we grabbed over from Scooter Zone in Riverside and uh, just basically have sitting over here. We will have to have like a little section where we have like a bunch of um, the super old scooter parts that we will never ever sell. I don't know where we're gonna put those. Where are we gonna put those, Matt? Are, are we gonna put them in the showroom like up there? I know we kind of talked about it a little bit. Yeah, I think we're planning on putting it up top for everybody to see, man. You know, just get a little history. Should we show them like some of the, the things that we have? Let's, do it. Let's do it. Where are they? I know like some of the super, super old ones we left in the storage because we still have to go pick them up because we didn't have room. Um, but what are you gonna want to see show us? What are they gonna want to see right here? Hey, if anyone knows what real ride is, man, this is the OG Raymond <laughs> Warner helmet. This dude used to go like this. Hey, you want to see how sweaty I am? Take it off. This dude used to little pool, a pool of sweat <laughs> every time. What else we got in here? going crazy oh, look at these here we go look at these <laughs> you ain't ever seen those bro scooter zone Never. shoes baby yeah, you got the og hat that's the first scooter zone hat ever made right here the first ever design here we go up with that this is a big one this is an actual kickstand for your scooter like a properly made one i didn't even know these existed until i saw this at scooter zone initially when james got it but i want to find one of these and open it because i don't want to open this one because it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. Like, look at this. It goes, look at the, look, the photo they have on there is an old A, which we do have some of those too. Mm -hmm. We do, we'll get there, we'll get there. Hey, if you've been riding for a long time, you're gonna know what those are. Oh, dude, all the, day. Both the of these foamies things. and the buff bar, like, mm -hmm. oh my mm -hmm. God, the bar stem. 
You guys don't even know how spoiled you are. Right here, though. Here we go. Hand in hand. Here we go. This is the old school setup, boys and girls. Ooh. Right here. The bolted head tube, bro. The bolted foldy. Mm. Standard headset. Big old knuckles. Scorcher fork. Fakey break, the bro. Fakey. Gotta have the fakey, the bandana. Man, those things are scary if you ever got your shit on those, though. I got it on mine twice, and it was real bad. You're done for. Where are those A's at? Look at this thing. The 10 year anniversary of Razor. Memory lane right here. James bought like seven or eight of them. So there's, there's, I think we have five here. One, two, three, four, five. I think, yeah, just five. The but this model. is the one that started it all. Yep. The That's pro the model. Right In the box, ready to go pro model. Some of the guys that are like the OGs right now that are watching this video are looking at that like, in the box but also hold up for those of you guys that are like the older dudes that have been riding for a long time yeah we got the we got the old a we got the pro model we even got the like a2s this one's a little kind of nasty but what you guys know about having the b1 the ms130 b1 and for those of you again ogs that are watching this right now it has the strap it has the razor strap bro we gotta show them yeah be careful with this box Look at that. It's brand new. Never ridden, bro. Never ridden. The shock fork. Look at that, dude. How are you going to tell me you got the five spokes? I've got Never. The true suspension system. True suspension. Never ridden, bro. This was actually my first scooter without the shock fork. My first ever scooter. But my, it was an old A, but it was green. But I don't think it had a strap. I remember they were like 180 bucks, 200 bucks. Razor would have been selling crazy amounts of those things, making cheese. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Phase two. I bet old. you guys don't even know who made this. Hit him with it. Razor. Razor wow. made that. Look at that. That's actually like not a bad deck either. Was it? I gotta hand it to him, bro. Again. I never, I never rode it, but. I never did either. Nice. But I mean, I, I rode Jason Begg's scooter when he had it. Um, I think Danny Rambert had one. Did Danny have one? I, I'm pretty... Racky. Yeah. yeah, Racky had one for sure. But that's, that's another like super, super throwback right there. All right. That's, that's Scooter Zone, you guys. You guys got the full tour. Um, again, we're gonna be opening up our doors for the public to actually come in November 1st. And the address is 42245 Remington Avenue, Suite B11. And that's in Temecula, California. Zip code is 92590. As for the phone number, we're trying to get that all set up right now, but it's looking like it's gonna be 951-296-2222. Just know. I'm not gonna be answering the phone every single day. Maybe like, maybe every now and then, like you might catch me, I'll, I'll get like a wild hair and answer it while I'm here or something, but I'm not gonna he be here like every single day, all day. Um, so Matt's gonna be answering the phone a lot. Yeah, don't be mean, man. Don't be mean to Matt. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the all new Scooter Zone Warehouse store. So if you guys wanna come and check us out again, November 1st, we'll be, having a, we'll be having a grand opening. I'll make sure to keep you guys updated on my Instagram and all these dudes as well as myself will keep you guys updated via the Scooter Zone Instagram as well as the Scooter Zone site. So if you guys wanna check us out on Instagram, it's at scooter underscore zone. And our website is www.thescooterzone.com. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you guys like this shop. I hope you guys like the way it looks and uh, We'll see you guys very soon when it comes to putting these racks up and getting things situated. But thanks again for watching, guys. Until next time, I'm out. Later.